Hi everyone, I'm John Merchant from Geometry Gym, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a new plugin we've been advancing on, which is to generate loosest finite element structural analysis data from within the Rhino and Grasshopper environmental context. Um, if you've ever tried to generate or use uh, Rhino as a source of geometry for loosest, then the most typical way of doing this in the past has been to import a IGS or a step file with the geometry. Um, it's worked reasonably well, except one, it doesn't actually carry uh, in a CAD format any of your structural analysis um, assignments like meshing, um, meshing set out or uh, restraints or properties or loads or anything like that. Uh, and the second thing I typically found in the past with using IGS was that I had to rebuild a number of surfaces where edges didn't merge um, after importing the CAD file format. So what we've been doing is looking at alternative ways of generating the, the or exchanging the information from, in particular, Grasshopper to, to Lucis. Um, if you haven't seen Grasshopper before, effectively it's a, a graphical programming environment. Um, each component effectively takes inputs on its left-hand side and then outputs something on its right-hand side. And you can build up the logic of a process by chaining these different components with inputs together. So here, for example, then I'm um, I'm demonstrating, um, you know, perhaps creation of a, a box girder bridge. Um, we can then change uh, the inputs to optimize or refine the design um, and consider alternatives for, for for what the project might be. So, for example, changing the number of hangers, um, you know, changing spans, etc. Um, just to demonstrate this, I'm actually twisting the box girder as it runs around the arch. So it's that starting perpendicular at the base and then twisting around to sort of a 45 degree orientation at the summit of the arch, just so that each of the faces um, ha has a bit of warp or twist to them. Um, so at the moment, while well, I'm showing you is out of the box grasshopper components to, to create the loft for the surface and then split each of those surf surfaces at the intersection plane with the hangers. And then what we've been working on at Geometry Gym then is the ability to collate and assign um, loosest data to those particular um, surfaces or lines or volumes. So you'll find here components where you can say set the, uh, the, the behavior of the um, meshed elements, whether they be thin shells or space membranes or thick shells. You can nominate things like the size. I'm working in millimeters here. Um, whether you want quad um, shaped elements and whether you are, are dominated um, meshing or whether you want uh, quadratic interpolation of the elements. So you'll see similar components for, for line meshing. You can create um, materials. Um, at the moment, primarily um, the line properties are, are referenced by name. So I already have this line property existing in Lucis. So I can refer to it by name here in the Grasshopper script, um, but you can generate uh, surface properties and, and things like that here from Grasshopper. Uh, it's not trying to do a live link with Lucis. So when you're in a position where you want to analyze or test uh, or, or transfer the, 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 the state of the geometry to, to Lucis, then we have this button here to bake the model. Um, and then I can write that to a, a Visual Basic script file. If we have a quick look at that, um, well, we can then run it and port it into Lucis. So you can run script, run script. Uh, we can pick that script. If we want to have a quick look at it, at the contents, then um, we're writing effectively the points. If you scroll down further, you'd find where we're starting to write the edge lines, which are, are NURBS curves. So there's a nomination of um, degrees and control points and not vectors and things like that. And if we scroll down further, um, we're actually, in this case, checking that all the surfaces are effectively an edge surface or a Coons patch. So that should give quicker surface creation and meshing in, in, in Lucis. Um, we can write NURBS faces of geometry if, uh, if it's not the case that the surface does deviate away from an edge surface. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, then we'd see where we're starting to run the assignment. So you would see line properties assigned to lines, surface properties assigned to surfaces, uh, material assignments and, uh, and, and the like. So we can run that then here in Lucis um, and have it then import or translate all that script information into the Lucis data model. And then we get a 
visualization of that same um, same model here within Lucis. Um, yeah, so we could then analyze this. We can do further things. We do plan to add loads and um, other analysis case or, or stage construction, etc. We'll, we'll support based on demand from users. Of course, then the benefit then if you've got a model which has been um, defined and you need to consider an alteration, then it's pretty easy to come back, change your inputs um, to, to assess whatever variation or option. Um, and then again, create then a new version of that particular model. So we think this is a pretty powerful technique. Um, we're more than uh, happy to have users start to try this and give us feedback, tell us what features would be important. So yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.